And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91-second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and... Action! Live-action remakes of animated classics have often been compared to the attempt of describing a dream you once had. It's damn near impossible to fully recreate the magic. This has been the case with most of Disney's recent live-action CG remake attempts, but given his track record of incredible movies, one might think that Robert Zemeckis could get pretty close with his take on the 1940 Disney animated film Pinocchio. But unfortunately, this film only manages to strengthen that sentiment. Where the movie fails is in its blatant unwillingness to venture on an even slightly different path from its animated counterpart. For the most part, the film plainly goes through the motions scene by scene, following the same beats and character designs, making it feel very lackluster, uninspired, and without even trying to make a Pinocchio pun, very wooden. While one could argue without trying to spoil anything that the ending could be seen as a bit of a switch up, others could contend that it's not really that different, it simply stopped short. What kind of intrigued me and pulled me in to hit play was the casting of Tom Hanks as Geppetto, and while his performance had a few bright spots, I was kind of baffled and distracted by his accent. One stronger positive I can offer up is the musical score courtesy of Alan Silvestri, and while the musical score is not enough to prevent this film from taking its place in the Disney vault of the forgettable, it helped add some depth in an otherwise shallow attempt at another redo. With names like Zemeckis, Hanks, and Silvestri attached to the project, Pinocchio had all the potential in the world to soar past expectations and doubt, but unfortunately the film had way too many strings attached to the original that ended up holding it down. Cut! That's a wrap!